Here's my tangram puzzle cut out on a laser engraver. Goes together like this. Um, so that's the tangram puzzle. You can see right here, I cut the quarter inch board out and all of the pieces, and then I just glued that onto a piece of half inch MDF. I really like this project a lot for a lot of reasons. A lot of great math in it, understanding isosceles right triangle, surface area, volume, and I'll show you the spreadsheet on it. Uh, the other thing I like is there's a great design element. So you could design and do my puzzle if you want, or you could do your own. Here's one uh, a kid made, trapezoid triangle and a square. Uh, this is a great one here. This is quite a challenge. Is could you do the same puzzle um, using only quadrilaterals? Is it even possible to do a seven piece puzzle that ends in a quadrilateral and every piece inside is a quadrilateral? So I, I wasn't sure if it was possible and the kid figured it out. So that's this puzzle here. So let me go to the spreadsheet and also how you actually create it in Autodesk Inventor. And, uh, and then we'll make it and then do some more math with it. Okay, here's the spreadsheet I was talking about. What I like to do in the spreadsheet is part name is the first column. And this lists all the parts, the base, and then uh, the large triangle. Even though there are two, it's a single part. Just made twice, medium triangle. There's only one, and then there are two small triangles. I weigh them in ounces, so there's my next column. The base length is the uh, length of the shape. So on the large triangle, pull it out here. You know, here's the base length. Um, and you can see I actually did it as an equation. So it's equal to three square root of two. And then uh, height, some of those are equations. And then this right here is also an equation. It's equal to the base times the height divided by two. So this is one dimensional, a length measurement. This is two dimensional square inches. And I find that with the equation. Then over here, this is volume, three dimensional. So this is cubic inches. So I take my surface area times my height. So I enter these equations. This column right here is the density. Density of the wood is important for, um, it's useful and important because the rate of cutting materials is based on their density, and it's also a good check. So you can tell there's a gigantic discrepancy between the density of the base and the parts, but all the parts weigh exactly, or have the exact same density, but the base is made with that MDF, which is a lot more dense than this plywood. And then finally, I figured out price per square foot, I'm sorry, price per board foot. Board manufactured lumber like this is about $2 a board foot. A board foot is a cubic measurement, is 12 by 12 by one inch. So I take the volume of my part divided by the volume of a board foot, and I multiply that by the $2 to give me the price for that part. It's a lot of good math here. Um, and I really like creating these equations um, and working from one dimension to two dimension to three dimension, finding the density and the price, the usefulness of it all. Okay, I'm an inventor. I start up here. This is Autodesk Inventor, new part, which is going to have a file extension IPT. And then from there, I'm going to create a 2D sketch. I'm going to draw on the XY plane. I'm going to create a rectangle, snapping at the origin, going up into the first quadrant, six, tab six, enter. And then zoom in a little bit. There's my geometry showing my lines are all parallel. I'm going to create a line from this corner to this corner. When that thing turns green, it's actually snapping on it, and I'll be able to snap right on that midpoint and seeing that's 45 degrees. Then I'm going to draw from midpoint to midpoint. Draw the small triangle over here. Should be at 135. And 
I'll draw to this midpoint. Another line down here. And this should be exactly 3 at 90 degrees. There's my parallelogram. Uh, all my geometry is created. 